All right, guys, this is Louisiana Snake ID, LA Snake Boys on YouTube. Um, and I have a couple moccasins that I'm relocating. And this is one of them right here. This is a juvenile moccasin. Um, it was too close to some houses, and I'm just moving it to a safer place. Um, this swamp right here, there aren't really any houses anywhere nearby. And just wanted to get them away from it so that somebody wouldn't kill them. Um, this little guy is opening his mouth in a classic defensive position. Uh, just trying to get me to leave him alone. I'm, I got him with the, the grabber, so I don't blame him. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm going to let it go. And uh, see, he's already wanting to go that way. This is a good area. I've seen a lot of frogs already just in here, so we have plenty of food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very just gently let it go. Actually, swimming under the water right now. See if someone on the bottom of the water? I always say the moccasin swim on top of the water. That one is swimming under the water right now. Completely underwater. Um, also get asked questions, can they bite underwater? Yes, they can bite underwater. Part of their main part of their diet is um, fish, so they will do that as well. But see, he's going. It's completely underwater. That's a moccasin swimming underwater, heading on its own. Oh, I got another one I need to release as well, so I'm going to go get that. But I um, just wanted to show you guys. didn't come towards me at all. It wasn't aggressive at all. It's swimming underwater. Just debunking that myth that moccasins always swim on top of the water. They do sometimes, but it's not always. If they're looking for food or if they just don't want to be seen, they'll go underwater. We'll get the other one and we'll come back and do another video. This is part two of the video. This is a large water moccasin that was caught near some flood water recently. The uh, waters were high, so I was relocating them. I was waiting for the water to go down. Um, this is a bigger guy, much bigger. About two feet. Uh, not gigantic, but... Decent size. He's showing me his, uh, his fangs. He's rattling his tail. I don't blame him. I got the tongs on him. I'm squeezing tight. But it's just a way of saying, hey, look, leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. So leave me alone. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to let this guy go. A really good spot that has a lot of frogs. A lot of fish. I see already there are tons of movement. So, all right, dude. On your way. That one also went underwater. Shallower water, but look, he's going straight away from me. So far underwater, I don't even know. I still see it. Yep, completely unsubmerged. Very hard to see it moving through there. He's on the bottom of the water. His tail just passed through there. Completely submerged. Another cottonmouth water moccasin. Completely submerged. Uh, these guys were relocated. They're venomous. They can harm people. Um, it's not going to kill you unless you have a an allergic reaction but um, I like to catch them I like to release them in a safer place away from people um, where they have a better chance to just to do their job they'll eat rodents they'll eat frogs they'll eat minnows they don't want to bother anybody they would rather be left alone every single time um, two moccasins released no aggression from either one of them other than me while I'm holding it it didn't take didn't come at me it didn't charge at me they both left and went the other direction they both went completely underwater which is another myth um, but anyway guys, uh, Louisiana Snake ID on Facebook, LA Snake Boys on YouTube, Louisiana underscore Snake underscore ID on Instagram, and soon we'll be having Twitter. Um, so if you guys have any questions snake related, anything you've heard all your life that they do this. Or